every woman needs a good wingman. Someone to tell the good boys apart from the bad boys. But it's not always easy to find a good wingman. Luckily, some clever chicky has created Be My Wingman, where instead of speed dating, it's speed friending. Alright, well we'll start with how did you how did you come up with uh, this idea? This is your brainchild, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um I got really lonely when I got to Australia. Um I'm a professional and I work every day and when I first got a job when I got to Australia it was it happened to be working with all guys as well. Um, I've got a partner and it just got to the point where the weeks were going by and I came to Australia thinking I'd meet all these just meet loads of friends and it's just found it really hard to and I was lonely and I never thought I'd experience loneliness in my life because I thought loneliness was for some people that live in cabins in the middle of, a, on a hill somewhere, but it, it, I think it affects everyone. And I knew that it wasn't me because at home I have loads of friends and in the past I've had loads of friends and I'm a happy, confident person, but for some reason or the other, I just wasn't meeting the right people in the right places at the right time. You have speed dating where you meet guys and girls meet and you can just quickly say no and meet them and interview them. Um, and that's how. Be My Wingman works. Everyone sits down opposite a person. Um, you have six minutes to speak to the person opposite you, get to know them, um, and after six minutes the bell rings and then everyone swaps and speaks to the next person. Now, if you like that person speaking next to you and you'd like to meet them again and um, continue the friendship, you tick yes. And if both parties have ticked yes at the end of the session, both parties get each other's email addresses for them to, to continue their relationship if you like. We have a box where you can take yes to everyone. If you're not bothered and you just want everyone to have your address and you want to find out at a later date whether or not you are you're going to be friends with them. Do people mostly tick yes or are people quite scrupulous in who they want to be their friend? It's about 50-50. Okay. Um, since we've introduced the tick yes to everyone box it's been very popular. I think people, one, some people think maybe no one's going to pick them, which never happens. So they tick yes um, because it will encourage, it, there's more likelihood that they'll get people. And it's funny because we do all age groups as well. We do uh, under 30s, under 35s, 35 to 45, and we do over 45. And um, the over 45s are the most picky, believe it or not. The older you get, the more you know what you want out of a friend. Uh, someone who's maybe 22 will pick up yes to everyone. Um, we do have icebreaker questions at the back of our um, sheets that they have to fill in. Um, and, and then they're all very silly, you know, sort of like, uh, w w w do you like cleaning? <laughs> or do you knit? Or uh, who is the last person you kissed? Or I don't know, things that just... You can talk about anything because that's just what conversation's about, just um, swapping information. Yeah. How are people when they first get here? Are people mostly nervous? I imagine, I think I would be really nervous when I first got here. Yeah, um, it's always slightly awkward, but you know what, within, within half an hour of being here, you just realise you're just talking to people your own age um, who you'd probably talk to at a party or dinner anyway. Um, and it disappears. Everyone that's been on the sofa today has said they've, they've met a couple of few people. Uh, one girl said, oh, my Irish best friend just left me this morning. Oh. And, uh, but there's another Irish person here and she's about to sit down and one leaves, the other one comes in. <laughs>